and welcome to the five best targets to image in June. We will pick our three favorite objects to photograph as beginners, and we'll tell you why. We'll also be adding two difficult targets for our more advanced viewers. Let's get to it! So my favorite target to photograph in June is a wide target. Where well, you don't actually want a telescope, you want a DSLR camera with a lens on it. Preferably 50mm lens, and it's Royal Fuji. Um, it's pretty bright, it's just rising at the same time as the Milky Way. It doesn't go very high in the horizon, so just make sure you, you get it right away. Um, do you like Royal Fuji? Yes, I think it's beautiful. It's got a lot of colors in it, and I think that's what makes it really interesting. I don't know if it's called Royal Fuji or Royal Fuji or something. How do you say it? I say Royal Fuji. Royal Fuji it is. So what's your favorite target? My target, I think, would be M13. I think that one's pretty good. It's, it's a cluster. It's called the Hercules Cluster also. It is the biggest and brightest cluster in the Northern Hemisphere. Yeah, I think there's only one or two that is brighter. Uh, Omega Century and... Uh, is there another one? I don't remember. Uh, but Omega Century is in the South Hemisphere and is bigger and brighter. But um, for us, M13 would be the best, I guess. And I think it's, it's pretty high in May, so it's, or in June, sorry. So actually both anyway, but um, in June it's, it's pretty high in the sky, so that's, that's a good one. And then a third one for, for beginners would be um, in it's June. Fourth. Yeah, in June there's not much. I mean, there is a bunch of them, but um, we have targets ready for all the months as well. And um, for June, I would say M24, I guess she's right. Uh, it's a pretty... It's super, super big, so you will need a DSLR camera as well with a preferably a wide-angle lens. I believe it's in Sagittarius and um, the largest Messier object. It's not actually an object, it's, um, it's I think it's the only Messier object not categorized as an object uh, in the whole catalog because it's just a field of stars. Now let's jump to the advanced targets. So we have two targets for you guys that are a bit harder to photograph so my favorite target would be the Blue Horsehead Nebula. This is a, a blue nebula really, really close to Royal Fuji. And you would need a telescope for that, because um, it's not as large as Royal Fuji. It's just uh, you know, really, really close to it. It's very beautiful. It's just very, very faint. So you would need long hours of exposure in a dark site to capture it. Um, what's your favorite advanced target? My favorite advanced target probably... Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me get, let me give them a hint. Here's a hint. That's the hint. <laughs> so, what is your favorite target? Did you guys guess? My favorite target for June would be the cat's paw. Um, it is also NGC 6334. Um, it's very cute. It's like. It's cats. I love cats. And I love Gilbert. Like, you know, it's got little toe beans on it. You, when you see it, you'll know immediately that it's a cat's paw. That's a good one, too. It's got a lot too. of great colors in it, too. But it is also an advanced target, and I'm assuming it's not, it needs a lot of time yeah. and a dark zone. Probably, yeah. So those were our five uh, favorite targets for June. If you guys want to see more uh, beginner targets to photograph, you can see our guide online uh, for each season of the best targets to photograph. And you can also see them in our Astrophotographer's Guidebook, which is also available online. Pretty neat if you want to, you know, see for each season which target is the best to capture. All right, we'll see you guys next time and clear skies. We are doing something new, something interesting. A new series on YouTube, a monthly series, I would say, for this coming year, so. Watch out. The first one comes in um, June. Yeah. In June, we'll have the first one, and then every month, every month of the next 12 months, there's going to be a new video about the same subject. Uh, stay tuned. And that's it. Now, pick your favorite target for this month and go image it. Clear skies.